when you're in the room where it happens, it's, it's pretty cool. There are a lot of nice people out there. We had Tom Hanks in one time. He was just sitting like on the home base and just chilling and talking to all of us. No qualms. He's like, yeah, I always like to show up 15 minutes early because 15 minutes early, you're on time. Like, people like that, like he doesn't have bodyguards and he didn't need an entourage. He's just hanging out. Keenan's definitely awesome in terms of cast members. It's cool to encounter people like that. Um, and it is nice because like now sometimes some of the cast members know my name. So I'm like, oh, cool. Largely carpentry because it's what drives me. It's what I did most at Westchester uh, with Tom Hawhey in the shop. So that was like, I spent a lot of time in that shop. Um, but honestly, now um, my whole career is focused around lighting at this point, which was kind of a, a different thing. Um, but I, I enjoy it all now. I, I've come to like all sides of technical theater. So I felt at Westchester, you felt like you were a more vital piece of the machinery. So I think that uh, that satiated a lot more of that like need to build and create. And um, I think I, I found a lot more uh, pride in my work because you could see every little thing that you worked on come to life. I am terrified of being in front of people. Even an interview like this, I'm like, oh, you're recording, okay. Like, <laughs> so for me, I'm just not used to like being in front of people, um, and I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need the spotlight or any of that. Um, but I do love the aspect of uh, creating something uh, out of other people's imaginations, even if it's other designers and, and other people have a vision and you're trying to see this thing through. Uh, it's kind of cool because you're always creating something new and something about that always fascinated me. And, and, you know, at the end of it all, you wipe the slate clean and you get another shot at it. So if you didn't like what you were doing, now you all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, you know, on to the next one. Yeah, it landed me in an apprenticeship at a NBC at the electric shop, which is where I started kind of becoming an electrician instead of a carpenter. In order to get in, you have to, it's, it's pretty much an aptitude test that you take. And uh, it was fortunate because I was in my junior year, I was doing theater stuff constantly. So I was like, yeah, I'll take this test. I would say, I don't know, maybe Stagecraft 101, uh, because really it kind of got me on the path of, oh, I like to do this. You know, you come into college and sometimes you are in a place where it's like, am I making the right choice? Is this the right direction? And like, we should always question the path we're going on, obviously. But um, definitely that class kind of propelled me to be like, oh yeah, this is what I like to do. And there is a place for me, this exists. And then as you kind of as I proceeded, it's like, okay, there are professions that exist out there that will feed this side of me, this creativity, 